hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video i am going to tell you how to configure how to configure hd wan in fortigate firewall so friends you can see this is my scenario this is my isp1 isp2 fortigate firewall and my lan this is my management okay here i will configure hd wan for these two isp okay will load balance the traffic okay you can see this is my internet zone here first of all let me show you for isp1 my firewall interface is port 3 ip 1.1.1 for isp2 port 4 okay 2.2.2.1 and gateway 2.10 here gateway 1.10 okay build reach 8.8.8 okay my management ip for the firewall management is 100.100 and LAN zone 10.1.1.10 okay will configure hd1 for port 3 and port 4 these are connected to isp isp1 isp2 now friends first we have to go to network you can see interfaces you can see port 3 and port 4 in my isp interface isp1 okay let me put here description isp1 so friends you can see port 3 isp1 let me here alive isp2 okay so you can see port 3 isp1 port 4 isp2 now you can see here in network you can see in network there is hd1 just click on hd1 first we have to create hd1 zone where we will where we will add both interface isp1 and isp2 so you can see this is default we can call here both interface but here i will create a new zone so just create hd1 zone here hd hd1 zone now we'll add both interface isp1 and isp2 okay now click on ok now you can see we have created now friends we have to click on here create new hd1 member click here my hd1 member isp1 and zone will be newly created hd1 okay so for this isp1 my gateway will be gateway will be for isp1 my gateway will be 1.1.10 okay 1.1.1.10 okay now click on enable now again create new hd1 member select interface isp2 port 4 select zone hd1 now for hd now for isp2 we have a default route route through gateway 2.2.10 now click on okay. okay you can see it will share half of traffic okay now now we can see both interface added isp1 isp2 interface added to hd1 zone okay now we have to create hd1 rule now click to create new to create hd1 rule you can see default implicit rule there hd1 all all source of a we will create new rule create new by hd1 okay now source address my source address is lan 10.1.0 this one okay this one user group leave it destination address all protocol any okay now best quality if you manual assign outgoing interface we can manual assign outgoing interface or 
the best quality the best uh, major performance if any interface performance is good then it will choose the best lowest cost okay the interface that meet SLA target is selected okay maximize bandwidth so you can see maximize bandwidth traffic is load balance among the interface so we will select here load balancing now we'll add interface one two okay zone preference zone will be hd1 sla target so we'll create new sla target like uh, gdns Okay, Google DNS will target here. So, for all HD1 member, okay, SLA target latency. You can see threshold 5. If threshold 5 will increase, then it will change route jitter threshold 5 packet. So, link status. So, every 500 millisecond, it will check link. If link down, then it will update route. Okay then a restored link after five checks okay it will send five checks then up will if okay then it will restore link okay now click on okay so now SLA target add here SLA target gdns okay status enable now click on okay so friends we have created hd1 rule now performance sla you can see performance sla here because for google dns threshold latency will be we can set here latency like uh, latency we can set 30 okay then it will be okay okay now now friends we have to you can see both interfaces up okay now what we have to do we have to create policy to allow traffic from here to here okay we'll create policy here so just go to policy on objects parallel policy create a new policy hd1 policy incoming interface port 2 incoming interface port 2 outgoing interface hd1 source then destination all service all accept no net allow all session enable policy So you can see we have created policy now we have to create routes here go to routes static routes any any gateway will be 192.168.100.1 interface hd1 interface hd1 okay so if you choose hd1 it will not ask for gateway okay now click on ok so friends we have created so friends we have created routes we have created policy everything looks ok now let's initiate the traffic land pc this is my land pc ping and dot one dot sorry a dot a dot a dot eight hyphen t let's open another cmd ping gmail.com so both profits is working you can see so you can see gmail.com and editorial is pinging now go to firewall and check here go to network hd1 just click here as soon as you can see traffic download and upload traffic is there both is load balancing jitter okay you can see now sir 
traffic is load balancing here okay so let me down port 3 isp1 interface then we'll see what will happen okay let me down here this interface that is disable okay then see go to sd1 performance sla you can see port 3 is down now traffic going through okay so you can see there is no packet drops no new packet drops here okay let me up let me up this interface okay enable okay now we'll see so you can see now just we have enable and disable here so packet loss 61 percent because we have disabled this interface now interface is up packet loss will be discreted okay you can see packet loads is getting discreted so friends you can see load is balancing here okay let's now let's go to logs here we'll take logs or traffic log so you can see we have log here some traffic is going through isp1 port 3 and some traffic is going through you can see some traffic is going through port 4 okay some traffic going through isp1 some traffic is going through port 4 you can see port 3 port 4 okay isp2 so friends in this video we have seen how to configure hd1 on 40 firewall so thanks for watching this video have a nice day